Hello, I'm Mark Shavar, store manager of Moe's Outdoor Equipment Supply and Ace Hardware here in Springboro, Ohio. And we're going to talk about fixing your yard with the brown spots that came from last year's drought. Uh, again, last summer it was very, very hot here in Springboro, and there was a lot of yards that ended up getting brown patches throughout the yard. Some yards actually even end up having bald spots where the grass died. And what we're going to talk about is how you can repair that in time for this spring to get your yard looking great again. Scott's is the industry leader in grass seed and what we're going to talk about today is how you can utilize these products here to make your yard look great. What we have here is an assortment of products here. We've got the Scott's Patch Master which is a lawn repair mix. They have a sun and shade mix which has rye grass, it has Kentucky bluegrass and red fescue. There's several strains of those there. We also have a tall fescue mix as well. What that will do is patch those brown spots real easily. Um, we also have Scott's Turf Builder Easy Seed where that has also a mulch and a seed and fertilizer in it as well. It works just like the Patch Master. Uh, it'll go a little bit further. And then of course we've got this old standby to Scott's Turf Builder Grass Seed. Okay, how do you go about patching your yard? Well, you're going to go out and take a look at the brown spots. And what you'll do is take a small rake or a big rake, depending on how big the area is. You want to get rid of the, the brown patches of grass because uh, it's not going to grow new grass on top of it. You'll go ahead and actually get rid of that. You'll rake that area real good. If it's bald, as far as there's no grass at all, you want to try to break up the soil. With it predominantly being clay here in this area, you want to kind of break that up real good. And it's always good to use a topsoil or Scott's Turf Builder lawn soil here for lawn repair or for overseeding if you're just you know, wanting to fill in the thin spots in your yard. So what you'll do is scrape that area real good, you know, break that soil up, and then what you'll do then is apply either the Scott's Patch Master and all you have to do there is after you've broken the soil up, go ahead and put the, the, uh, the area, whether it's a small brown spot or a little bit bigger, spread that there in the hole there. And that'll have, again, grass seed. It'll have fertilizer. It'll also have the mulch there. And then you're going to go ahead and water it. And at that point, it takes 7 to 10 days for the grass seed to germinate. Once it germinates, you'll see little blades of grass growing up through it. You're going to want to continue watering that up to uh, the grass getting about two inches tall. At that point, you're going to be able to cut that grass. Um, again, Patch Master works like that. With the Easy Seed, it's a little bit different product. What it has in there, the, the, mulch, compo the, the mulch part of that product is made from coconut shells. So it kind of is kind of an orange brownish color with the seed mixed in. You go ahead and fill in those brown spots with that. And when you go to water it, that orange color goes away and it's kind of a dark brown. And what you'll do is continue to water that, let the grass seed germinate. Again, it's going to take seven to ten days. And if you're paying attention to the, the spots there, as the grass seed and the, the brown mulch area starts to dry out, it's going to get back to that orange color. That's when you know it's time to go ahead and water again. And of course, when you water in, uh, in throughout the, the spring and that, a lot of times with Mother Nature kind of helping you there in April, you may not have to water quite as much because, you know, Mother Nature's going to take care of you there. Or the old standby. If you've got a big area that you need to do grass seed with, you're obviously going to need to put, whether it's Scott's lawn soil or you can use any good topsoil that's out there. There's 40-pound bags. We sell Ace topsoil here in our store. Put that down. Again, you're going to have to rake the area quite a bit to make sure that uh, the grass seed is going to have a place for it to grow properly. And you can again use either the sun shade mix here or the tall fescue mix. The thing kind of nice about that is that you've got several different seeds in here. You've got rye grass, which will may be three different types of rye grass. You're going to have a couple of the Kentucky bluegrass and as well as a red fescue. And the reason they do that is to make sure that the seed's going to take properly. A lot of times one strain of grass seed will get blight and that will die. It's designed then if it's just one strain of rye grass that not all the rye grass is going to die in that grass seed. So Patch Master Easy Seed or your traditional turf builder grass seed is great items you can use to fill in those brown spots or the bald spots in your yard. 
or if you're just wanting to overseed the yard to fill in the, where it's kind of thinned out, uh, or a brand new yard where maybe you uh, put sod down last year and then seeded the backyard and it didn't fill in really good, well, this is the perfect opportunity here in the spring to do that. Again, this is Mark Shavar, store manager at Moe's. If you have any questions about our segment here, give us a call here at the store or go to our website at buyatmoe's.com or check out our Facebook page. Thanks and have a great day.